Hi booktube! My name is Sarah and welcome to The Bookish Knitter. Today I am coming to you with another pick my next read video. So, I forgot a book. Hi booktube! My name is Sarah and welcome to The Bookish Knitter. Today I am coming to you with another pick my next read video. Happy Friday everybody! I'm filming this on Thursday as I always do, but this video is going to go up on Friday. So in these videos every week I spin a wheel. I have um, extra books on my TBR that I put on one of these spin the wheel apps and then I sit down with you guys and we spin it three times and three books come up and I go ahead and um, share those three books with you guys and then you all let me know in the comments below which book do you think I should read in the next week. Um, so two things. The first is that the book that won for last week was Cold Brew Corpse by Tara Lush. Um, this is the second book in a Coffee Lovers Mystery series. I have not gotten to this yet. My goal is to get to it in the next few days. It's a relatively short read, like it's not very long. Um, and uh, yeah, so I should definitely be able to get to this one. I am really looking forward to it. This one by the overwhelming majority, so that's pretty exciting. So the other thing is, is that I've got only six books left on this list, on this spinning wheel, and we still have two Fridays in uh, May. So we've got this Friday and next Friday. So what I'm thinking, I haven't decided yet. I may just spin this week and then next week's, because next week's will be the, like, the 27th. Um, so I might spin for June. We might spin a read for June. I think that's what I might do next week. We shall see. Because I think I did that at the end of April that I spun for May. So yeah, I think that's probably what I'll do. So this is probably going to be the last spin for May books. So let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see what comes up. Very excited. I love this. So the first book we have here is Beard Necessities by Penny Reed. So this is, I believe, the seventh book in the the seventh book in the Winston Brothers series. I love this series on audio. It is so, so, so fantastic. So let me quickly bring up the information to share with you guys. So because it is the seventh book in a series, I don't want to say too much. I don't think it really matters. With this series, I think you it's one that you can kind of dip in and out of. I know with books three and four, those are the ones that you did need to read in order. At least I found so because Cletus's story, which was book three, and I can't remember whose book was book four, they happen parallel to each other. So the storylines run like, so in, in Cletus's story in book three, you're kind of alluded to some things that are happening with the other character in book four. And then in book four, you are definitely given privy to information that happened in book three because they happen at the same time period, if that makes any kind of sense. But for book seven, this is Billy Winston's story. So all it says here is that Billy Winston's family is going to see him happy and in love if it's the last thing they do. So book seven in the Winston Brothers series, that is pick number one, Beard Necessities. Let's spin the wheel again. So the next book we have, very excited about is da, 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 da. Sunrise Over Sapphire Bay. Oh, this is a book by Holly Martin. Let me go ahead and bring up the information on this. So here's the next pick, Sunrise Over Sapphire Bay by Holly Martin. This is the first book in her Jewel Island series. These are Kindle Unlimited books, and I really, really enjoy Holly Martin's writing. So let me just read quickly the little bit on the back here for you guys. Aria Phillips has lived on Jewel Island all of her life. Even when her sisters Clover and Skye left its stunning shores for bigger and better things, Aria stayed to help her father run their family hotel. A year after her father's death, Aria's done everything she can to keep things afloat, but the hotel has long been struggling to make a profit. With so few guests, Ar Ar Aria excuse me, risks losing the only home she's ever had. Noah Campbell earned his fortune from making hotels a success, and he also just happens to be staying on Jewel Island this summer. Could he be the answer to her problems? If only he hadn't kissed her under the willow tree a year before and never called her again. It's been the most incredible kiss of her life, but clearly business and pleasure should never be mixed. So it sounds like a bit of a second chance romance. Sounds delightful. Again, I love Holly Martin's writing. So that is the second pick. So let's go on to spin number three, the third and final spin. 
we have the Yankee Widow. I'm super excited about this one. It's the only one I have on hardcover on this list, which is why I brought it over just to sit here um, on the floor beside me. The Yankee Widow by Linda Lael Miller. I am so excited about this book. I have been anticipating reading this since it came out back, what, two years ago? When did this come out? It was a while ago. So Linda Lael Miller is a, I'm a big fan of her work, 2019, so three years ago. I am a huge fan of her books. She writes great cowboy contemporary romance as well as historical cowboy romance, but they're romance. This is definitely a historical fiction novel. And yeah, I took it out from the library, but I do have a copy of it on audio. I am really excited about this book. So yeah, uh, let me just read a little bit of uh, opening here for you. It says, Caroline is the young wife of Jacob, who together uh, live on a farm raising their daughter just outside of Gettysburg. Uh, when Jacob joins the Northern Army, no one anticipates he will not return. Then Caroline gets word that her husband is wounded and she must find her way to Washington City and search among the thousands of casualties to find him. And that's all I'm going to read. So yeah, big, big fan of her work. I actually, it's funny, I mentioned when I borrowed this from the library that I was pretty sure I had it as paperback and I do actually have a paperback copy. But I borrowed this edition for whatever reason. You know, I don't like owning hardcover because they take up a lot of space. But I love, like, if you ask me, I, I prefer this cover over this cover any day of the week. But I do have it on audio as well. So, yeah. Let me know. So, we have, I think it's the final book in the Winston Brothers series, Beard Necessities. Or we have a sweet summer read with, um, what is it? Something over Sapphire Bay. <laughs> Drawing a blank now. Or The Yankee Widow by Linda Leo Miller. Which one? I'll leave all three listed in the description box below, but please vote and let me know. I'm not, not saying this one specifically, I'm just saying. Um, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> you guys are all going to vote for, yeah, just vote, because you guys have not steered me wrong yet, to be honest. I think one week this month I didn't get to the book at all, but it was a great pick, so you guys have not steered me wrong in any of these, so vote below, let me know. And I hope you all have a fabulous weekend. Take care and happy reading, everybody. Bye.